Hey, good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke. Today, verses 13 to 16. Listen to this. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. He who hears you hears me. He who rejects you rejects me. And he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Pretty intense words here. Pretty intense. So Jesus, this is around the Sea of Galilee, some of these locations, Capernaum and all this. This is where Jesus did a lot of his mighty works of healing. And these people were so privileged to have Jesus himself come and be in their midst and be teaching and healing and, and, and doing all these things. And because they were so closely exposed to God's truth, God's insights from his word, their rejection of it, having seen the real deal, their rejection was much uh, more severe, much more dangerous for them. He's passing out woes here because when you reject God's truth, what's the, what's the, what? Hey, listen, when you reject, when the doctor has an insight for you and he says, look, you better stop smoking. You're, you're going to have lung cancer here. And you reject that and you go out and you keep on just to take this example. Guess what's going to happen? Very likely you're going to wind up with lung cancer. And one of these days he's going to say, you know what? Put your house in order. You know, you may be dead in six months. You need to listen when the physician has an instruction for you. And here we have a case where Jesus is the great physician, and he has some instructions for us. And he tells us, pay close attention to the mighty works I'm doing. That's important. It's for you to, to think about it and understand if this is from the kingdom or not. If, if it's not from the kingdom, then yeah, you've lost nothing. If I'm an agent of the kingdom and you're rejecting the truth of God, you're putting yourself at great risk. You're going to lose out on eternity. No. So we have to be faithful and true. Exalted to heaven, but brought down to the grave. Very, very intense warnings. Jesus is telling us that this is not a uh, practice. This isn't a dry run. This is the real deal. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to be true to you and faithful. Sometimes we come across things in the, in the sayings of Jesus that strike us as particularly hard or even harsh. Help us, even though we have been softened by our age, the age we live in, help us to be faithful and learn how to be firmer for Jesus, for the kingdom, telling the truth without bending it. In Jesus' name, we ask you to help us with this. Amen. God bless you and me. Let's stay right on the track, right where the word of God is. God's blessings be with you.